welcome to another DroidScript tutorial and today I'm going to go uh, with you through layouts. I'm going to just show you and tell you the basics and what you can do with them. Now a layout in DroidScript is essentially a container. It's where it's what you use to put in your objects and DroidScript comes with four different types of layout and uh, I'm showing you an example here. We have a frame layout, which is where you can put objects on top of one another. So for example, this is an image, you press the button, and we have another layout, a frame layout, and we can switch the layouts. And we have a, another one called linear, which allows us to perform um, stack containers on top, um, in order of the screen, so either vertical or horizontal axis. For, so we have a, a horizontal layout here. Uh, well actually, it's a vertical layout surrounding all of this. And then we have a layout with one object. And then we have a horizontal layout with small, three small objects and another one um, sitting underneath. And there is another type of layout called absolute. Now, absolute layouts ignore all alignment options and allow the absolute positioning of, of controls by calling the set position and set size methods of each of the child objects. It's not something, though, that is encouraged to um, be used. So if, we if you can try and uh, stick to the linear type of frame, um, linear type of layout that's the most useful for uh, organizing controls in either vertical or horizontal direction on the screen now the fourth type of layout is actually known as a draw and that's what the swipe is here so you can add a layout and have it off the screen and here example um, a draw so you just drag it from the left or we have it from the right and you can do what with that uh, layout whatever you uh, want with any other layout so you could have a menu option here so you could have a swipe in um, menu uh, so that's the introduction to layouts and actually what while I'm at that it's a really good opportunity to just show you if you go onto the um, docs whether you're on your device or this is using the uh, web browser uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi IDE and you go into the reference section in there there is a section called layouts and this is where you'll find all the information that we're going to go through here in this tutorial so it tells you how to create a layout add a layout and add one of those drawers which you've just seen here and there is an example here which is pretty much what I've just um, used anyway in my example and you can even run it from here just copy the code so what I'm going to show you now is just to create a vertical um, layout I'm going to show you how to basically um, create this uh, so which is what you probably will use most most of all in your apps anyway so we're going to uh, show you how to put a few containers on the screen in a couple of different um, orders now what I've done to get started is I've created a, a new basic application and stripped everything out except for this basic foundation so what I've done is created a new linear type layout that is a vertical um, direction starting in the center and it's going to fill the x and y so it's going to take up the whole of the screen and that's all i've done to add the layout and when you run it run it you do this so if you add any t objects to that container it will start in the center of the screen and so let's just add some buttons to it and I can show you. So if I do dot add button and it comes up now with a layout. So when you, when you 
lay vert. And we're just going to put the letter A. I'm going to give it a size of 0.2 and 0.1. And if we run that, there you are. The button starts there and the layout cook takes the whole thing. So if we want to create two more of these, button B, button C, enable that. And what we'll see now is if we run it, it should be A, B and C stacked upon top of each other. And that is a basic vertical um, layout. Now, if we wanted to combine these layouts and have um, the vertical one here, but have a horizontal, so have a combination of two or three buttons here, now we need to, in between the A and the C, we need to create another um, layout. So we're going to create a layout horizontal. Yep. And it needs to be a linear again. And this time we want to call it horizontal because we're just going in that x axis. Now what we can do here is instead of lay vertical, we add it to lay horizontal. And then we're going to add two more buttons on this. One, button B1, B2, B3. between here we need to add the child which in this case is the lay horizontal so now we have the parent container or layout which covers the whole screen and we give it we are adding a button to that layout then the next we create another layout container which we, can, which we have a horizontal level and we're adding three buttons to that and now we need to add that container to the parent container then we add the third button so let's see if this runs and there we go so now we have the horizontal um, layout here was B1, B2, B3, and then we have the also the one below. Right, let's extend this a little bit further. We have currently the three layouts, and what I've what I've just done is added change this up to the same width as these three buttons and the third one the same so if we press play you'll see now the top and bottom button is the same width as the three horizontal now what I want to show you is also possible with these uh, layouts is that you can add a scroller uh, layout and when if you're creating an app it generally you're generally going to have a header and a footer and the content is going to be in the middle and if the content grows beyond the scope of the size of the screen you want it to um, be able to scroll into view so let's have a look at how to do that we have our top uh, layout there and what we're going to do is we're going to contain or surround this layout in what's known as a scroller. So we're going to create a scroller 
and then put the middle layout inside the scroller and so you can um, scroll the content within a certain part of the screen so let me just show you best way to do this is to start with the docs so we go to reference if you click on all it's probably the simplest quickest way type in scroller and you'll see two, two options here so if we click on create scroller you'll see the uh, syntax here and it's quite simple to follow or even easier you just go down to the example and copy paste so here we says create scroller and add it to a layout so let's copy this and just put it after button A and we just need to change that to lay vert add child scroll now we're not going to give it a one and one width we're gonna let's give it the same width as the button above and we're going to give it a point, not point 0.4 height, just to show you um, the scroller in action. And what else does the example show us? So here we have um, a linear, standard linear layout, and we're adding it to the scroller. So we already have our linear layout here. So let's just put the other line, which is the... Um, Let's add our scroller um, to our scroll. Uh, although actually we need to change this one because we're adding lay HOR. And then we can just add the buttons as standard to the layout as we did before. And that should be it. Get rid of semicolons now. We don't need them really anymore. And to make this, or to let um, you see a scroller in action, we need to change the height of the buttons so it overlaps the height of 0.4. At the moment, they're at 0.1, so let's make them all 0.2, uh, 0.6, sorry, and then that's higher than the scroller height of 0.4. And that should be pretty much it. Let's have a look. Anything else on the note? Nothing else is needed on the sample, so let us see if we have got this right. And there we are. So we have the first button A here, and then in the second uh, layout, we've got these buttons, and we've surrounded them into a parent container, which is a scroller. And then you can scroll content um, like so. And then we have our uh, button here, which would be ideally a footer. And you can change this content. Um, you could put that up um, one screen down there just to show you, for example, uh, make it full, um, full width. To do that, we'd want to change that to a 1.1, 1 .1. change that. So if we just change this, to width of one, one height of 0 0.1, change that um, to one, or, or you could actually not even, you don't, oh, this is yeah, the width of 1.1, the width, you can have the height of that, and then this one needs to be 0 0.8 because, or we'll change that to one, so the width, and then the height to 0 0.8 because then that's 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 makes it a complete one. So if we play that now, you'll see right across there. Obviously the content in here is only there. So if we now put that to, let's see, if we just put one point, well, point 0.16, and run that you'll see now the buttons go over there now you'll see it um, aligned to the left that's what currently what the scroller does by default so what you want to do is you need to just change the width still of the of the scroller to the contents of your um, contents of the layout inside so this one has 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 
um, would equal point, um, more point 0.6 with point 0.6 there because our container so if this sounds confusing but the parent top abstract parent container the layout parent layout um, we have a vertical center fill x y so that will center objects inside so if we that there then we have um, content so you just need to make sure your um, container content inside goes up to um, one and then we can we can set that so that is a start of uh, layouts what I will do in the upcoming tutorial is show you how to actually put this all together into a workable app with a header and a footer and multiple screens but for now um, you can see the start and the foundations of how you would uh, go ahead and build an um, application so have a play with this have a play with the layouts and see what you can come up with mm -hmm.